Hello everyone, how's it going? I hope you all are doing amazing. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm the Intuitive Rose, nice to meet you. If you're not new here, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me again today. So today y'all, I thought we should do a video suggestion by one of my lovely subscribers. So today's topic is going to be, how does your coworkers view you? All right, so I have three piles for you to choose from today. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So go ahead and choose your pile. I will give you a minute. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Hopefully everyone's doing well. All right. Hope you chose. I'm gonna go right in this order, okay? So let me place these down. All right, so if you chose pile number one, this is your reading, so let's get started. Okay, so you have the card of unawakened. Lord, okay. All right. So with this card, Unawakened, I'm getting two messages. I'm getting there are certain things that your coworkers actually are curious about with you. I'm getting maybe there's some things that maybe you don't show them. This could be like, you know you act a certain way in a work setting like you know we all do but I am picking up on like this co-worker has this curiosity and they almost have this feeling that there is something more to you more than you know what the eye meets what you're showing um, and then another message I'm getting is some of you guys are actually oblivious to some of the things your co-workers may feel may think um so yeah hopefully it's good things but i'm definitely getting some of you guys are unaware actually like um yeah you're about to be blindsided is what i'm getting like the message that we're about to find out here it could be maybe a good thing like maybe someone likes you and you're you know i'm definitely getting like you have your back towards something um yeah like spirit is like making it seem like you know you're not even aware of this unawakened you know all right so let's see my angels, my sister, my spirit team, my spirit guides for pile number one. How does their co-workers feel about them? How does their co-workers view them? Alright, so let's see. How does their co-workers feel about them for pile one spirit? Okay. So we have Six of Pentacles and then we have the Chariot. So instantly, the message that I'm getting, your coworkers see that you are progressing. You are progressing in life. Um, you guys could have just bought a house. I just got the message of a house. Um, or the house can be like symbolic to like you know a home um you make work feel like home you make work more comfortable um they feel like you know they can be themselves they can be comfortable with you with the six and pentacles here i'm definitely getting um like there's like um they're very comfortable comfortable with sharing a lot with you maybe you you know you give good advice you give good insight um i'm definitely getting with the cherry here in the six of pentacles like there's this energy of like they feel comfortable they feel comfortable with you know talking to you um the cherry here i'm just getting like this is for you like they see you doing a lot for yourself and that you just reached a milestone you guys could have just purchased the house maybe yeah i'm getting a message about a house here so yeah, your coworker sees that you're very good with your money. With the Six of Pentacles here, with the Chariot, yeah. You're very good with your money, and also they see you doing something that you're good at. With the Seven, yeah, with the number Seven here, I'm getting like reflection, um, spirituality. You could do something like another side job. Um, it could have to do with um, a gift of yours. 
yeah, you guys can have like a side, a side business going on where you get like another income. So they definitely see you have like multiple incomes. Um, and the chariot here, you're definitely someone who is doing something for yourself. Not only, you know, work, you're actually doing something um, outside of work that, you know, you're creating uh, income from. You could be someone that gets your nails done like naturally, like no acrylics. You could just get like your fingernails just painted. So they see that, you know, you're definitely not someone into, um, you know, all the fancy stuff. So you're definitely someone who is, I want to say, all natural. You could have maybe offered to get this person's nails done or offered to pay them, maybe buy them something. Um, we have Knight of Swords here. So yeah, you see how like they're just running. They're, these are a lot of movements. The Chariot and the Knight of Swords here. So with the Knight of Swords here, I'm getting they see you going after something. Um, this could also be they see you leaving, leaving the job that you're currently at. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords here, like, I'm just noticing both of their backs towards me. So they feel like, you know, you're really invested into something else, into something that you're pursuing um, that's picking up for you. I'm definitely getting with the Cherry and the Knight of Swords. Something is picking up for you fast. You could be getting, like, a lot more income from it, a lot more clientele. So they definitely see um, you're capable of really pursuing something outside of the job. Some of you guys could play like Cupid, Love, like Matchmaker, something like that. I'm being drawn to the arrow here. Um, so yeah, so maybe this is how your coworker feels. You could be someone that's always trying to match them up with someone. I'm definitely getting you guys have like a friendship. Um, yeah. Spirit, what else? How does their coworker feel about them? We have the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Judgment card. So yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, see, there's definitely something that you've probably been working on for a long time. Um, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, I'm just getting, you know, of course the Knight of Pentacles is a slower moving energy, but this could be, you know, something is picking up for you finally with the Judgment card here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, your coworker sees you're someone that is really just living your life um, authentic, authentically. But the judgment card here is like you're not really following no one else's rules. Like you really are following your dream. I want to say your dream with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I, they see you moving on. They see you leaving some this job to somewhere you know better and I'm getting it has to do with some kind of project you're working on or this can even be a new job y'all a new job that is a much more um, stable income especially if you guys just bought a house you know um, that's gonna be really helpful yeah that's what I'm really getting that this co-worker sees you're really good with your money your finances and you're moving um, you're reaching milestones for sure. I'm also getting that they see you as someone who does a lot outside of work. You can, you know, have your own business, but you can also do like some kind of activity. You could do like yoga, ballet, dancing, um, maybe teach a class, something like that. They really see that you're very active. You're very, very active. And this unawakened can also be like maybe they didn't realize like how much you do you know uh, maybe they just now found this information out with the six of pentacles here as well um, but they definitely do see you do a lot you do a lot and you're you're doing great i wouldn't say this co-worker has any any ill intent nothing y'all in fact I, I would say you you probably motivate them the chariot the judgment here the six of pentacles it's almost like you you make them want to do better 
you make them you know realize something about themselves and this could be again with the unawakened is saying something you're not even aware of you know you're not even aware of what you this co-worker um how you're making this co-worker feel and i'm really getting is you're pushing them you're pushing them and they could be maybe just not sharing this with you maybe this is something they're keeping to themselves yeah seven of wands here i'm really getting you the things you're accomplishing right now or the things you have accomplished so far it's like you're making this person want to do that like i'm really just they see you as someone following your dreams and they see you as someone accomplishing a lot some of you guys could have just gotten into a new relationship because i am still being drawn to this this um arrow here like cupid but i'm getting the message cupid so maybe i don't know maybe some not everyone y'all maybe this co-worker you know has a thing for you maybe they could have um asked you out or something but you definitely seem to be more um goal oriented than this person because this is how this person is feeling like you you make them want to do better um so yeah with the fool i just seen the fool here so yeah you're definitely someone that's following a new journey yeah like i said not for everyone y'all but we have the page of um cups and the three of swords i wouldn't be surprised if this person has asked you out um because with the three of swords here it's almost like this person's kind of heartbroken a little bit they could be holding back with the unawakened here too um, they could be definitely holding back and this again could be something you're not aware of maybe you know you friend zoned them and you didn't realize because yeah with the page of cups here i'm really just getting you know this person has definitely an interest in you they have a um they have an admiration page of cups you know it's not necessarily a knight or a king queen but it is a an admiration for you um so this person definitely finds you very you know interesting um they definitely like hearing um what you have to say with the six of pentacles here i'm really just getting there's an interest but it's a mutual interest you know um there's definitely a fascination with you okay so yeah if this is a co-worker that's like always you know trying to be in your business this is probably why they they have a thing for you they really like you um and they're really interested in your life you really do motivate this person but i'm really getting some of some of your co-workers feel like friend zoned right now like yeah friend zoned for sure so i'm gonna pull one more card all right so let's see anything else spirit also something about your shoes you could be you could maybe wear the like the same work shoes or just like dressy shoes i'm getting something about shoes they both seem dressy so i want to say you could wear dressy shoes or you come to work always dressy yeah your co-worker sees that you put your all and you know what you're interested in so this co-worker likes you anything else we have privileged lady yeah so this person this co-worker feels like we have change see they see you doing something um a lot of changes happening for you and it's good changes but with the privileged lady here you see how like she's you know she's dressed up and you know she comes off as someone who has a lot who has it all um they see that you're very good with your money you could maybe just the way you um the way you speak maybe about your life about your adventures with the cherry here he does look like he's going on an adventure you could be someone that takes a lot of trips they just see you have a lot you have it all and um i wouldn't be surprised yeah this could be maybe one of the reasons why they're so interested they like fantasizing you know wow like i'm definitely getting they they do think about like how they don't have that not evil eye or anything um but yeah with the judgment here i'm really getting you help this person kind of see some things about themselves okay um yeah they just feel like you you have it all you come off as someone who has it all okay so i think that's all i have for you pile number one if this resonated with you feel free to let me know um also i just heard john or this person can have a j in their name um yeah john okay 
anyway if this resonated feel free to let me know um, feel free to check out the description box below on the monthly membership i would love to have you with that being said love and light and bye bye Alright, so if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So we have the card of awakening. That's so funny because pile one was the opposite, the complete opposite. Y'all, I just pick intuitively whatever card comes out, this is the pile. So um, yeah, we have the card of awakening. So your coworker, I want to say your coworker sees that you have your mind on the future. You, they see you um, making big plans with the the mountains back here. It's almost like you can maybe talk about like how you got in from you know A to Z. They they definitely see you have some kind of uh, testimony, some kind of life story. Um, they definitely see you have gone through some kind of change, like a big change. And it seems like you know your mindset just seems to be evolving, like. It's constantly thinking of, you know, big things, better things, and they see you as someone who's always, I want to say doing better, like they see you doing better than maybe from the last time um, you guys spoke, or maybe just the the amount of years you guys known each other, or even months. They see, you know, you're a different person, but a better person, you know? All right, so let's see. You could be someone that's always cold as well, um, or vice versa, someone who's always hot. Um, but they definitely see something with, you're always complaining about the temperature. Um, yeah. All right. My angels, my ancestors, my spirit team, my spirit guides, can you please come forward and help me provide an accurate reading for pile number two? How does their coworkers view them? Some of you guys could have just shaved your hair um, or cut, yeah, shaved your hair or a colored, colored your hair. Okay, so let's see, for pile number two, you could be always traveling as well or maybe like taking cruises. Um, you could have like a really deep fascination with the water or you could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So let's see. Angels, my sister, my spirit, my spirit guides. For pile number two, how does their coworkers view them? How does their coworkers view them? We have nine of pentacles. So they definitely see you as someone very independent. Nine of pentacles. Um, you know, she has this garden. You know, this garden that she's just able, you know, to pick um, her fruits, her, her accomplishments, her, you know, everything that she has accomplished and achieved you know they see you're very fruitful they see you're very abundant like I said um, the fool here they see you have really followed through on something this could be like a, a divorce like maybe you guys had like a hard divorce and now you're like a completely different person um, this could be an actual awakening like you could have maybe gone through an actual spiritual awakening where you have completely changed you know your habits yourself some of you guys could be losing weight as well um, with the nine of Pentacles in the full here I'm getting you know you have completely changed your lifestyle and this co-worker sees this this co-worker is just like amazed um, they see you're just more happier more brighter um, yeah they're definitely like they see your focus is not towards the past anymore it's like your back is turned turned towards that like i don't care no more what happened in the past like this is a new beginning and the nine of pentacles they just see you know you're living an abundant life some of you guys could again be single right now and just by yourselves or some of you guys are just again not worried about no one else like no one else like i'm okay where i'm at they definitely see you have like turned over a new leaf. 
you're more happier. Some of you guys could have just gotten into a new relationship, a new partnership, maybe just got married as well. Yeah, so take what resonates with that. But y'all, this coworker sees that you're happier. You're definitely happier. Um, okay, so let's see what else, Spirit. How does this coworker view them? the sun y'all see they see you're you're happier um yeah there could be like a new person in your life yeah mm -hmm. some of you guys just met someone or you guys maybe just married or something like that um they definitely see you're more happier yeah this person could be a Leo because we have the sun here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the person you're talking to. Um, so let's see. Anything else, Spirit? We have Seven of Cups. It landed right on the awakening. So yeah, like I said, you guys have been through like definitely like a lot. You have a testimony for sure. You have a story. Look, the Queen of Pentacles. It looks like this person is this? okay so it looks like this person is like you know pointing directly to this and it's a ladder the cup has a ladder next to it so when I think of ladder you know you're trying to you know use something to get up right to get where you want to be where you want to go and it seems like they this coworker sees that you made a big decision for yourself that has just brought nothing but like elevation for you. They really see this big change with you. I, I, I want to say like you're eating healthier. Your mind is like much more clear. You guys might do like um something mindful like meditation. You could maybe take walks. Just look sightseeing you know embracing you know nature grounding more they definitely see you're like more spiritual or religious um they definitely see you have you have gone to like some kind of higher power um it could be an actual therapist maybe you could be seeing a therapist but really this this coworker sees like you have really just changed, changed in a good way though. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here too, the Nine of Pentacles, I wanna say like they see you more grounded, more happier, more, um, some of you guys could also again, maybe change your lifestyle. Like you could be vegan, pescatarian, vegetarian, um, or maybe you just refrain, you refrain from certain activities. Like you're not doing what you used to do. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's see. Anything else? You could be eating like a lot more vegetables, a lot more. They see your heart chakra is opening up more. Okay, so let's see. Anything else? We have the moon. Okay, so with the moon here, I'm getting, you know, you're embracing, look, four swords. See how like, this is in the back though. You see how her heart is right there? So yeah, they see your, your, you are healing your heart and your heart is like opening up you know it's finally opening opening up again but with the moon here i'm thinking of like divine feminine because you know the moon can represent the feminine energy the sun can represent the masculine energy so they definitely see you are embodying that you're embodying you know um your divine feminine your divine masculine um and they they definitely see whatever you have gone through you just put it you put it beneath you like it's no longer your worries it's no longer your your you know thought of the day um they i'm really just getting this these co-workers see you're doing better though that's the message that i'm getting they see you just celebrating more 
some of you guys could be going out more like exploring more traveling more um yeah five of wands see so it seems like the knight of yeah the knight of pentacles you fought hard for this though you fought hard for this nine of pentacles um you know someone who's just happy with just being um and they definitely see okay so some of you guys could have retired that could be another thing um some of you guys could have could have retired so now you know you're just living living life traveling seeing the world um or maybe this is something you talk about doing um yeah but they definitely do see you fought hard for this peace of mind it's been a long journey for you i want to say it's been a long hectic journey um and maybe you know not everyone was you know truly truly wanted this for you this could be like family part an ex-partner but i'm getting whatever whatever it is whoever it was it's like completely beneath you it's like no longer your focus like your focus is on other things yeah like i said like he's pointing to this ladder here with, with this cup with the ladder so yeah you're not worried about nothing else your focus is on yourself your life living yeah strength it's like they see you have just found your strength your courage um you're fighting back that's another thing you could be fighting back as well like you took you have taken your power back from someone from something this could be like a messy divorce or something like that y'all i'm really getting something like your personal life i don't want to say um, it's like your work life it's definitely something personal that you have overcome um, so this could be like a co-worker that you know you're very close with um, that you know maybe you told some secrets to or just you know something personal they definitely do see you have changed though changed in a better way in a beautiful way um, yeah so anything else spirit we have the hermit yeah so you could have taken like a big break maybe you guys just came back from a break like a huge break a vacation maybe a vacation um but yeah with the hermit here they definitely see like again you've done like some kind of soul searching diving like you you did something and you went out mia i want to say that you definitely went mia a little bit but they definitely see whatever happened um you changed in a better way so yeah y'all this could be maybe something you didn't tell anyone at first and now they know um so this co-worker also has changed their viewpoint on you so if this was something that you just shared with a co-worker yeah they definitely see you in a different light in a um again in a way that is like wow like you've been through a lot you definitely been through a lot Some of you guys could bowl or um, again you're going out more maybe with friends okay so let's see anything else anything else okay this is a lot all right I'm gonna take them the Lord is this a lot so this is different messages clearly so just take what resonates y'all so we have occupation but it came out in reverse so yeah like i said some of you guys could have retired or some of you guys again left work for a little bit and you just now returned um you took a big break Some of you guys don't probably don't need to work. Maybe you guys don't need to work. Uh, maybe you don't want to work. Um, but yeah, this coworker sees that you know you have taken a big break or you retired here, um, and you're doing you're doing definitely something else as well with the occupation here. She's like sewing, so you could be doing like another activity, um, another maybe job as well. And then we have message of concern courtship and main female so yeah then i say some of you guys are in like a new relationship just started talking maybe just got married so yeah they definitely see you know you have put your focus into that um and you are just you know happier with the main female here you could be you know being treated well 
the nine of pentacles like you're treating you're being treated with you know love with luxury with respect um and we have message of concern so yeah it definitely does seem like some of you guys just you know did some catching up with someone a co-worker um yeah definitely some catching up here message of concern maybe they just reached out to you like hey how you been or hey i haven't seen you some of you guys could have been sick as well so maybe you just wanted to take a break i'm definitely getting with the five of wands here like there was definitely something you were dealing with personally um that maybe you know you weren't able to fully give your all in work as well all right so yeah i think that is all i have for you hopefully this was enough y'all i know it was really just one message really in here but hopefully this helped if it did feel free to let me know feel free to like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out the description box below on the monthly membership i would love to have you with that being said love and light and bye bye all right Alright, so if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So let's see how does your co-workers feel about you. So we have the card of union. Ooh, I like this. Union. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you guys could maybe work with a significant other. Um, yeah, some of you guys could. Um, or some of you guys could have like, you know, maybe some exes in there. union um okay a couple messages i'm getting your co-worker sees that you're kind of like lovey-dovey touchy-feely especially if you do work with your significant other here they definitely do see like you guys are like you know lovebirds um and with the union card here i'm also getting like this warm feeling like they this co-worker um feels like you know you're someone very very sweet very kind and you're i want to say someone who like who dreams of a happy ending fairy tale you could be someone that's into like you know those those love movies like lifetime and um you know the the cliche movies they definitely do see you have a, a good heart definitely want to say a good heart here um with the moon here they could see that you embody more of your divine feminine energy. For any of my masculines watching, for any of my feminines watching, you definitely embody more of your feminine side. So they definitely do see you're someone very caring, very nurturing, very giving. Um, and you're very, very sweet. I'm just getting the message, you're so sweet, you're so sweet. You could be someone that, you know, maybe gifts little treats or something like that. Or maybe you have a sweet tooth, something like that, y'all. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Anything else? You could also be really into like the 40s. Like I'm getting like old school. It could again be like you're into like the fairy tale. So you're into like, you know, the way things used to be. Um, the, the, um, the old days where, you know, husband and wife and, you know, come together and, um, you know, like stuff like that I'm getting you know they come home to a home-cooked meal like stuff like that or even wife and wife husband and husband same thing y'all but it really does seem like you have like an old soul and you're really into like fairy tales for sure okay so let's see <laughs> um, yeah they definitely do see you're someone very kind very sweet and you're deserving of a good partner a good partnership a union um so yeah for any of you guys that are single they definitely do see you're meant to definitely be with someone you know um the same as you the same energy you give you know you're meant to be with your divine masculine or your divine feminine all right so let's see let's see how does their co-workers feel spirit please and thank you for pile number three you could be someone that's really young as well very young okay let's see what else for, for, okay 
we have nine of swords okay so this is heavy energy um nine of swords can talk about you know struggling with some something um it can be with someone as well you could be maybe oh yeah i i accidentally said struggling with someone at first so this could be what they're saying as well um so yeah your coworker sees you're this sweet person, this this good person, and you could be maybe dealing with some kind of heartbreak, some kind of betrayal. With the strength card here, it seems like you're dealing with something that maybe, you know, is needing your your strength. Maybe this coworker sees that you're fighting, trying to stay strong, trying to um, fight through something. It could be this person, this, this, um, this person you're with, this person you used to be with the nine of swords here yeah they definitely do see you're having a hard time with something um, it could be maybe you lost someone that was close to you as well <coughs> excuse me y'all um, I want to say this co-worker sees that you're definitely someone that does not handle you don't handle pain well. You don't handle stress very well. You're definitely someone that gets overwhelmed a lot as well. They definitely do see you. You um, you're very sensitive, very sensitive. Like I said, you're very in touch with your divine feminine. And not saying there's nothing wrong with that, y'all. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So don't don't take that. But they definitely do see you get overworked very easily. All right. <laughs> you could have like maybe left early a lot. Maybe. Um, Said a couple times that you're gonna quit or leave something like that when you know it gets rough but they definitely do see you're dealing with something else for any of you guys that don't resonate with that just leave it could be a message for someone else but they definitely do see you're struggling with something some of you guys could be struggling with some kind of addiction as well yeah or sickness yeah, some of you guys could be struggling with that as well. Okay, so take what resonates with that. All right, so yeah, we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, so they definitely do see... One, you're not interested in this job. <laughs> definitely not interested. Um, like I said, they see you as someone very young, maybe young-minded as well. So someone that, you know, is like all peaches, rainbows, unicorns, and all that stuff, which is nothing wrong with that, y'all. I love the innocence, you know. I wish I could think like that sometimes. But, yeah, they definitely do see you're someone has that has maybe you know had like an easy life or maybe just someone who's you know so kind so nice that maybe you have a hard time of really seeing the world for what it is sometimes so i want to say this co-worker sees you're a bit naive nothing wrong with that y'all but that's the term that i'm getting um okay so yeah yeah they definitely do see you're not interested in this job for sure they, they, they feel like you have a, a free spirit a young free spirit that you know again you're all rainbows you're you're happy you're someone that's very happy very bright and very loving and you deserve some kind of you know good life and they see that you're not having that right now you're just very unhappy some of you guys could just be also dealing with some kind of heartbreak right now so they see you're very closed off too Oh my gosh, y'all. I wish y'all could have seen the way this just flipped out. The Knight of Cups, but it came out in reverse. And it landed right on the Union card. So yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Knight of Cups here. They see you just have not been... You have not been handed a good hand. Okay? So someone you were dealing with, someone you know you were talking to, this could be a co-worker as well. This could be a co-worker, y'all. Like I said, some of you guys could be, you know, a little touchy-feely, a little too close with someone at work um but yeah with the nine of cups in reverse it seems like someone used their charm to like win you over and you know it wasn't peaches and rainbows with this person in fact it's been something that you've been struggling with and this co-worker or co-workers um definitely like they their heart breaks for you because you're such a sweet person you're such a nice person like who would do something like that to someone like you um, but yeah, there is that definitely this energy where they wish, you know, um, you could 
maybe see your worth. You could see your worth and not, not, um, maybe also accept that not everyone is like you, you know, a kind, sweet person. Yeah, we have the chariot here. So there's definitely this energy of your coworkers wanting you to move on, move on. Um, maybe you guys need to move jobs, like switch jobs. Let's see anything else there there's definitely some imbalance in home life as well I'm getting the root chakra um, this could also be like self as well like you're just you're not feeling yourself lately they definitely do feel like this is like a more recent energy this is not something that um, this is definitely not something you know they're used to so this is definitely new energy here definitely new energy yeah the hangman here they have been noticing you distant they have been noticing you maybe calling off maybe just not being present at work um yeah they definitely been noticing something or they're very aware that you're dealing with something and they could maybe suspect that it's the person you're dealing with or maybe a loved one um yeah okay so we have eight of swords we have eight of swords i'm gonna get this card Four of Pentacles. Not Eight of Swords, that's Eight of Wands. Lord, okay. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, Eight of Wands and Four of Pentacles, y'all. So this coworker sees that you're not moving forward. You're holding on to something. I'm getting like you're holding you're preventing yourself from this eight of wands here. So this coworker sees or coworkers see that you're holding yourself back right now, y'all. I want to say this this coworker of yours has your best interest at heart. I want to say this is like more younger energy. I'm definitely picking up on a younger energy. Um, but yeah, this coworker feels like you know you're just not being you're not being open to change. You're stuck on someone. This could be maybe someone that you have gone to repeatedly like you're constantly going back to this person y'all um and this person's like no good for you because again this came out in reverse you know maybe you guys had chemistry at one point and now it's like something is fading but it seems like it's because you're holding on to something yeah the emperor here is almost like you know you don't we're afraid of you know this new change that you know what if Yeah. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with someone very troubled. Troubled for sure. Anything else, spirit? I'm feeling like, oh that's a lot. Okay. I'm I'm getting like this coworker of yours is almost like a, being a guide for you because I'm drawn to the the white bird right here you see how they're all you know it's like all this chaos going on but then there's this one bird it's, it's like this one person that's in your ear right now trying to help you see something that maybe you're not trying to see and also nine of swords can talk about this energy of being or playing victim so yeah they definitely do see you know you're not trying to see how you're you know playing a part in this reality not saying you deserved whatever you're going through definitely not saying that but it does seem like you know there's this energy of denial and you're not trying to be open to this this new change some of you guys could maybe like just not take work seriously as well i can't blame you a lot of these jobs are you know stressful um and I do see you get overworked easily and they see that but there is this energy like they wish you could do better for yourself and um, they definitely do want that for you so let's see anything else anything else spirit please and thank you we have the hermit it came out in reverse so they y'all I know this is probably not the message you want to hear with the five of cups here in the hermit reverse I want to say they this could be maybe an older co-worker this could be an older co-worker or this could even be your boss because I did see the Emperor here this could be a boss for you um, or maybe just someone you know in an authoritative um, position um, 
higher up position. With the Hermit Reverse and the Five of Cups here, it's almost like they see you really holding on to something and you're not trying to like change. They see some kind of abandonment issues, abandonment wounds. This person could like play therapy a lot, um, therapist a lot. Um, yeah, but they definitely are concerned for you. And I'm getting something about home life as well. Maybe, you know, your life has just not been too great, but they definitely do see you struggle with something um, and their heart breaks for you. It definitely does seem like they try to make your day better and you know they see you they see deep down that you're such a good person you're such a sweet innocent person that it's like they see you you don't deserve the life that you have been dealt with um, but they do wish you would do better for yourself maybe make better decisions better choices for yourself okay um, so yeah let's see anything else y'all I know that's not much about the work life but this is how your co-workers is feeling about you right now viewing you they definitely do uh, want you to do better okay so let's see anything else we have poverty it came out in reverse so yeah some of you guys could be like struggling financially again maybe you guys are not going to work um, maybe not putting your all at work maybe you just quit this job in labor so yeah they definitely do see you're struggling with a lot you're having a lot yeah see mature woman came out this person could be married um, this person could be maybe someone you view as a mom or a dad um, so yeah there's definitely someone older that's giving you this this information or this person this older co-worker that feels this way for you they want you to do better um, and now I'm getting they almost view you as like a child not in a bad way but like their child they they resonate with you um, you could be maybe the same age as their child like I'm getting something like that um, but yeah, with the poverty and the toil and labor here, they definitely do see you're having a hard time right now. You're having a really, really hard time. Um, and something about home, like maybe you got kicked out of your your house, maybe just not good um, relations with your parents. Like I'm definitely picking up on something about the root chakra, but I'm getting home, something about your home life. Um, okay, so yeah that's what i'm getting y'all this coworker really wants you to do better they wish you can do um they wish you can be in a better situation than what you're in um yeah but i really want to say they they definitely do with the hermit here i want to say they definitely do see you're struggling with a lot and you could be keeping this to yourself with the hermit here and you know this could be a reason why you're distant or maybe you know you haven't been coming to work they do definitely do see you call out a lot yeah so that's what i'm getting all right so if this resonated with you feel free to let me know um and if you are going through this i wish you nothing but love and light and i'm very sorry um for what's going on um just know that this is all temporary and you will you will get through it okay so um with that being said hope this resonated love and light and bye bye